All right. So, if my autofocus works, you see, can't read that. This is scheduled for delivery tomorrow. The new server will get here tomorrow. What does that mean? Let's take a look at the old battle station here, which is a dining room table for my desk. Here's the screen with the back end server processes up. Here's the old keyboard, mouse, and the battle station. And there's my Linux System76 computer, but the real meat of tomorrow is that I cleaned off my desk to ready for this. Let's turn off my light here. Alright, you can see my temperature monitor here, and the one plugged into the computer. You can see a lot more of that. But tomorrow, the new server is going to come in, and this is where the whole thing is going to be set up. This is... Mike, otherwise known as Mrs. Pinkin or Overjoyed Worm. This is his old monitor he gave me. Here's where this is going to be set up. I've already got the new uninterruptible power supply sitting here charging so that if power goes out mid-install, it'll still be alive. Got the monitor on that. It's all ready to go. Got an extra power plug for the blade server, which is back there. Got the USB port for monitoring the uninterruptible power supply during the install. Here's our power thing for the for the server. Our network cable plugged into my temporary switch here, which I just need to run proper cables for it set up. I can't see if the video looks like anything. So all this is going to be set up and here's all this crap in my office about you know <clears throat> how we get internet in here. So where's the server going to live? In here. Probably not going to be able to see anything in here, is it? Let's get this flashlight. A little mini flashlight here. <coughs> <coughs> if it works. And it doesn't. I don't have a flashlight. Well, if you can see, which I don't think you can, we have, you know what, this, this is already the most obnoxious video I've ever made. Let's go find a flashlight real quick. <coughs> Nothing in this house has any batteries. Okay. Of course, Iron Man. All right. There's already two racks here. This is the network attached storage. Some back there running with just fans open because I'm gangster like that. This here is my home desktop assistant or HDA, which is my main server. And then this rail here and this rail here are going to be where our new server goes. This USB guy right here is my temperature monitor for the room. See there's this little sensor. If it gets above 140 degrees in here, we kill. That back there is the old uninterruptible power supply, which works, but can't take that big of a load. And these servers pull out and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but see these move in and out on the little rails. And so when we get that tomorrow, we're going to set her up out here, and then we are going to get it all installed, make sure the operating system is running, then begin the process of testing the server, making sure Minecraft works, making sure I have the bandwidth. If I do have the bandwidth, which I should, we will be running all the monitoring services off of my other server, and then we'll just pack them in here. If it can't handle it here, we'll have to make it work at Mike's house somehow. You can see this thing's very loud, which is why I'm equipped to handle all that noise. His house is not. And otherwise, this is the rest of my office here. So the last thing that we're going to do, and I don't know if Mike is going to be able to come over and help me do this or not, the wiring in this house is atrocious. This right here is how the cable gets to the cable modem, which is back there. It comes through this room. <laughs> off of a splitter off the main TV back here. It's dark as hell in here, so that's no good. 
So I'm going to run a new completely dedicated line in order to make that work. So tomorrow, amidst all of this upgrade to 1.4.2, we have all of the business about getting this new hardware set up. That's pretty much the deal. Now you guys get a snapshot of what this is all looking like. A couple more things. All of this is going to be photo documented. I've already got the two drives. The one and a half terabyte drive and the 64 gig SSD have my dice in case we have to make any big decisions. Always accessible. Got my roll of Velcro ties so I can actually put the cables in a managed way. As always, Iron Man is here. I am Iron Man. And in case it gets too hot in there, there's a rack mountable fan I picked up. So that's pretty much it. Take notice because it's chaos in here. And uh, it's going to be much louder as of tomorrow.